Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Matt, and today we're going to be doing a quick unboxing of the Feel World F6 Plus on-camera monitor. Okay, so let's break this thing open real quick. So you know this was a gift, and if you're watching it today, Merry Christmas. If you're watching it not on Christmas, then... Uh... Uh, Merry Christmas for next year, all right? But uh, yeah, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna show you what's inside this thing. This is a new monitor and I'm pretty, I'm super excited about it, but let's get into this, right? You can see here, this is a 4K, five and a half inch on-camera monitor. It has a cool little sleeve, a little box sleeve. Let's see, there are no, there is no tape holding this down, which is pretty cool. Dun, dun, dun. Sweet. So we have a, uh, um, a light guard or a sun guard here. Has some operating instructions. Looks like it's in English and Chinese, um, which is cool. One thing that this uh, does have I want to mention is it has a full touch screen and it has some 3D LUTs um, built in, I, I guess. So. That's pretty cool over here. It's really padded around this edge, and let's just take this monitor out. So we've got this nice protective sleeve. Nice. Yeah, this is going to be awesome. So this is a budget-friendly on-camera monitor. Uh, with my camera right now, I don't have the ability to see what's going on back there, so I have to check, make sure I compose it, and um, hope, hopefully, you, I mean, my head's not cut off in here, but with this, I'll be able to uh, see what's going on back there, and I will be able to um, uh, improve my video skills so I can see what's going on in a larger screen, right? So we're gonna we're gonna set this to the side real quick. Look to see what else is in this box. So it has a user manual, okay, which it's in English. Perfect. We'll get into that later. Let's see what else it comes with. More protective gear. So it has a looks like a mini HDMI which is sweet. It does have the little arm to hold this gear and to add some different attachments to it, uh, which is one of the reasons I got it, because I like to use a shotgun mic, and this will go perfectly on that mic, but this will sit in the hot or the cold shoe of your camera, um, which is good. And then this is the... Um, the protective piece for the screen, which we'll, we'll get into in a second. So let me set all this stuff to the side. I will set this over here. And let's check this out. So, best part about new electronics. Love that. Sweet. Man, this is going to be cool. So, so you guys know this, um, uh, there is a link to this monitor down in the description. It is a uh, affiliate link, um, but it does have some information. If you want to check this thing out, there is a link right down in the description. You should definitely uh, go there for more information if you would like. So this will fit on here just like this. This will obviously plug into the camera. This I believe just clips on here like so. Perfect. So it's got this hook and loop um, action to hold this 
light guard here. So check it out. That's pretty sweet, right? Okay, so quick unboxing. All right, now let me plug it into the camera and, and see what we're working with. Okay, so we see, obviously it's not plugged into the uh, monitor yet. I'm gonna plug it in a second, but some of the things this comes with is it is a touch screen. Look, okay, it does have focused assist. You can turn that on. You can turn on the histogram. You can see the audio meter popping up. The parade, you can put it on um, RGB, YUV, Y. I'm gonna leave it on, uh, I'm gonna keep that off. For now, vector, I'll keep off, and all waves I will keep on for the moment. But we'll see that in a second once I plug it into my monitor. Let's do that now. So it comes with a HDMI to a micro USB, okay? And I'm gonna need a stand up to plug this into the monitor. They're protected too, which is cool. And we have a picture. And the picture is a little off, which is interesting. Let's see this. I'm gonna turn just all this, okay. So you can see here that this is definitely gonna be better than the the, the screen that's on the back of the camera, right? And I will be able to see what's going on um, once I flip this over. And I will have to figure out how to flip this over. In a second, but that screen is about one corner of this screen. So this is definitely gonna help out a lot. So let's turn the histogram on. You can see it down here. No, keep it on. That's pretty good. Focused assist, nine grid, I like that. Safety, okay, that's interesting. Well, that's cool, yeah, 16 to 10. I don't know, maybe yellow is cool. Damn, there's so many menus in here. I'm gonna have to figure this stuff out. Anyway. Super sweet. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna unplug this and uh, I'm gonna say see you later. So give me a second. Yeah, so this was just a quick unboxing video. I wanted to show you what came in the box with this. Um, you saw that it came with just a monitor, it came with the sunshade, the little uh, mounting bracket for the sunshade. It came with the actual monitor bracket, which uh, attaches to your camera, your cold or hot shoe. Um, and it came with one HDMI cable. You're definitely going to need to get batteries. If you do not have the um, F970s or the CE6 style batteries, um, you're going to need to get a uh, DC 8 volt um, connection. I don't know which one that is, but you have to figure that out. And uh, anyway, uh, be on the lookout in the next couple months. I'm going to be doing a review of this and uh, giving you my pros and my cons. But, but, but this could be the best budget on camera monitor out there. At least I think it's going to work perfectly for, for my filming. Uh, but I'll let you know in a couple months, all right? So stand by for that. And uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video, okay? Uh, super quick unboxing. I just want to show you what was in the box. I uh, hope you guys are staying safe out there. Take it easy. We'll see you later.